Canadian rapper Drake singing in Hindi. Reggaeton superstar Bad Bunny covering a Rosalia song. And Rihanna replacing Beyonce on her hit single Cuff It. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, these hits exist and they went viral. But the artists didn't really sing those songs. It was artificial intelligence. AI models are easily able to clone celebrity voices these days. But how does it work? What are the problems? And could you be producing the next viral hit? Of course, many artists aren't happy about their voices being digitally cloned by an AI. Rapper Drake and singer The Weeknd found their voices cloned on recent release Heart On My Sleeve. It was published by incognito producer Ghost Rider and was initially available on streaming platforms like Spotify and on social media. The song quickly went viral. But Universal Music Group, the label representing both artists, invoked copyright violations and the platforms had to take the track down. Universal's statement emphasizes how AI-generated tracks could impact artists' livelihoods. On the other hand, Canadian musician Grimes wants to use AI to her advantage. The ex-partner of tech billionaire Elon Musk recently tweeted that she would split royalties 50% on AI songs that include her voice. It's an interesting approach from the musician who has been embracing modern technology in her art for quite some time. What do you think? Can AI voice cloning actually be a new source of income for singers, or is it only a threat? And anyway, how are these AI audio clones actually created? Well, it's quite simple. A deep fake of a voice can be created within minutes. Find an online tool, feed it with voice samples, and once the software has enough training data, upload a voice recording of the text you wish to have translated into the other person's voice. We've taken Grimes up on her offer. Our team at Shift took a random beat, added a little melody, and asked ChatGPT to write us an uplifting pop verse. Every day I wake up, then we uploaded it to a website that offers Grimes' voice as a preset. Every day I wake up. We mix the voice sample with the beat, and here's the result. Every day I wake up, and I'm grateful for this place. The sky is so blue, and the sun so bright, it puts a smile on my face. All right, so clearly there's a lot of room for improvement with this song, and it's highly unlikely we'll make any money out of this track. But could this be a model for the future? If so, you could potentially create the next number one hit. But it's highly debatable whether these websites are legal. So far, it's totally unclear how to deal with AI music when it comes to ownership and copyright. An AI writes the song, but who owns the copyright? The company that developed the AI, or the person that typed in the prompts and made the AI come up with the piece? Apart from that, what about the compensation for the artists whose voices have been used? AI music also has ethical implications. Just imagine a voice being used for lyrics that are the opposite of what an artist maybe stands for. Eminem rapping about cats, a deepfake that went viral a few weeks ago, might look like an innocent joke, but in case someone produced a track with him spouting political propaganda, this could severely damage his career. So I wonder how Grimes would handle a situation like that. Another big question is aesthetics. Some musicians have already raised concerns about AI completely erasing the concept of artistic quality. To avoid that, US artists and music industry representatives have created the Human Artistry Campaign. Their goal is to use artificial intelligence in a responsible way. In their words, to support human creativity and accomplishment with respect to the inimitable value of human artistry and expression. So what do you think? Is AI a threat to music as we know it? Or could us users and artists actually benefit from it? Let us know.